You remember when he was inaugurated, Joe Biden said he would unite the country. And by gosh, he's actually done it. Yeah. An ABC News poll this week showed that 84% of the American people believe that he bungled and botched the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan by leaving Americans left there stranded. <sighs> there isn't a politician alive who wouldn't want to get 84% of a vote or approval. That's not just a slim minority. Man, that's an overwhelming supermajority. Okay, true, 84% thought his plan resulted in a humiliating defeat for America and the abandonment of hundreds of Americans who were left behind and stranded in a country now run by the Taliban, who were the very terrorists that we went to defeat 20 years ago. But Democrats, independents, and Republicans finally agreed on something. They agreed the exit was a train wreck, a dumpster fire, a clown car. Use whatever metaphor you choose. Joe Biden promised to get every American out. He didn't. He claimed to take responsibility, but he didn't. He blamed Trump and pretended that he inherited it all from Trump. Americans aren't that dumb. Biden changed everything Trump left for him. A strong recovering economy, a vaccine for COVID, energy independence, uptick in wages for working class, a return to manufacturing, a stronger NATO and military, a protection for unborn babies, and a secure border. Biden reversed every single one of those things. The decisions that led to a collapse of the Afghan government and American credibility were all his. Women, students, even dogs got left behind to be slaughtered by the Taliban savages. We even left, think about this, we left him $85 billion worth of military hardware including Black Hawk helicopters, Humvees, night vision goggles, and hundreds of thousands of weapons that you paid for, but that you can't own in the U.S. But the Taliban now owns them. Even prominent journalists stopped covering for Biden. Richard Engel of NBC was outraged by what he saw. When Biden came into office, he knew that the deal was there. He could have started preparing for it then. Then he pushed back the date of the withdrawal and had even more time to prepare for this. I know people were telling him or were telling their superiors through their chain of command that, uh, that, that, that Afghanistan was fragile, that if the U.S. pulled the carpet under uh, the, the Afghan government, under the Afghan security forces, that things would collapse. And that wasn't all. This is CNN's Clarissa Ward. With Taliban fighters beating them, with mothers throwing their babies, trying to get them inside the airport compound. It is just a picture of desperation, of failure as well. Failure to protect our allies, failure to plan for this eventuality. When the left loses NBC and CNN, they've lost their base. But Joe Biden, who looked at his watch during the dignified transfer of the bodies of the 13 brave American military members who died at the Kabul airport, thought he did a wonderful job. I mean, he virtually broke his arm patting himself on the back for the splendid job that he did. Of course, he never took questions from the press. I guess he wasn't instructed to do that by whoever it is who instructs him to do things. No one I know, no one I know wanted to stay in Afghanistan forever, but neither did we want to walk away from our fellow Americans and the brave Afghans who helped serve with us and who we promised we would bring them to America so they wouldn't be hunted and murdered. We broke that promise, and we are already hearing of the systematic executions of women, Afghan military members, and even comedians and singers because music and comedy have been banned by the Taliban. Just as Joe Biden turned his back on the press without taking any questions, so he's turned his back on the American people and retreated back to his safe space. 
Too bad the 13 military members killed at the Kabul airport or the hundreds of Americans left behind. Too bad they don't have a safe space to retreat to. So after months of the most divided America I've ever seen, old Joe has brought America together after all. And all but a paltry 16% of us agree that Joe Biden embarrassed the United States, betrayed our citizens and our allies, and left hundreds of Americans stranded behind enemy lines to be slaughtered by the bloodthirsty terrorists of the Taliban. And you wonder, just who are the 16% who thinks that this has been a splendid operation. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>